Okay, I'm going to make this very brief, yet your future self and or someone that you care dearly about may think and appreciate you for this brief insight that we're about to discuss. So basically, here we are on March 27th, Friday at 10.29 a.m. Eastern Time. A week ago, we didn't know this is where we would be. A week ago, none of us know where we're going to be. That little diagram up there with the maze. Uh, we're in uncharted territory, and no one has been through this maze before. None of us know where we'll be next week. None of us know where we'll be two weeks from now, three weeks from now, four weeks from now. There's projections, there's optimistic projections, and there's pessimistic projections. Pretty much worst-case scenario, best-case scenario. And optimistically, the best-case scenario isn't so great. <laughs> and I'm an eternal optimist. So what I'm doing here today is helping you forecast. Jump forward to yourself one week from now, two weeks from now, three weeks from now, four weeks from now, five, six, seven, eight weeks from now, two months from now, and ask yourself, if somewhere between the worst case and best case scenario becomes the reality, what would that future self of you come back and tell yourself right here, right now? So you know, and, and as, I, as I'm saying this, there are two camps that are watching this, and you're going to fall in one of these two camps. One, you're either totally worried and scared and frightened about the virus, or two, you have some concern about the virus, and you're totally worried, concerned, and fearful about the economic impact that's about to come, and what that means socially, and what that means with looting and rioting, and desperate people doing desperate things in desperate times type of scenario. So regardless of which camp you're in, I would have you foreshadow yourself on the path that you feel is somewhere between the worst case and best case scenario and go forward two weeks from now, go forward a month from now, go forward two months from now and, and kind of forecast where you feel we will be as a society, where we will be as a country, where we will be as a world, where we will be regarding our refrigerator and cupboards, where we will be regarding our water supply, where we will be regarding all these different variables. And ask yourself, from that future standpoint, what would you tell me now? What should I be doing right now to prepare for what's to come? What are some actions that probably, if I'm even somewhere between the totally optimistic or pessimistic standpoint, the future version of you probably is not going to say, you know what, I wish you watched more news. I wish you watched more Netflix. I wish you watched and wasted more time, right? That future version of you is probably not going to say that. I wish you didn't watch so much daggum Netflix and you took these actions. I wish you didn't think it was going to be all rosy rainbows and unicorns and you took these actions. I wish you would have reached out to some community members to start building some conversations about if stuff doesn't go uh, towards the optimistic plan, how can we come together? You know, things of those nature. What are some things that future self version of you would circle back and tell you today? Do this. Take a sheet of paper, write those things down. Do this. Make sure you have a couple uh, large jugs of water or a couple cases of water just in case make sure you have some canned foods uh that blah 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 you know meet your cr criteria for what you would be willing to eat if there were nothing else available make sure that you have blah 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 what is that answer to you what are the things that you could prepare for make sure you talk to your neighbors make sure you have your neighbors phone numbers make sure they have your phone numbers make sure people know how to get in touch with one another if they need some assistance, things of that nature. And so I would encourage you, spend a few minutes today forecasting, not in a pessimist, pessimistic manner, somewhere between the best case and worst case scenario, two weeks from now, three weeks from now, four weeks from now, six, eight, 10, 12 weeks from now. What would that future version of you circle back and tell you, do this right now? Stop doing this other stuff and do this. And in, in business and in life, I break it down to four questions. And maybe you want to get a sticky note and write the answer to these four questions and put them on your mirror. What do I need to do? What do I need to start doing? What do I need to do more of? 
What do I need to do less of? And what do I need to stop doing altogether? Start, more, less, stop. Four sticky notes. Start, more, less, stop. Put those answers on a sticky note and put them on your mirror. And watch how that can help fine tune you and keep you in the proper mindset, on focused on the proper actions that can help you take care of yourself, right? Put your oxygen mask on first and help you take care of those that you love as well. Something to consider. Fast forward a few weeks from now, circle back. What would that future version of yourself tell you right here, right now? What would you tell yourself to start doing? You're not doing this. You need to get up and go do this. What would you do more of? What would you do less of? And what would you stop doing? I believe in you. I know you will take the proper steps. If there's any way I can be of assistance, if you have any questions, if you're unclear on certain things, if you don't have a clue as to what the answers to those four questions are, or are not too sure or certain of what some of the steps are that you could take to prepare for that future that's waiting for us all. We don't know where that's going to be. None of us do. If you have any questions, post them below. Shoot me a private message and let's have this discussion. We will pull through this and we will pull through it victoriously together. Make today great. Have an awesome one. Be sure to put time into this brief exercise, which can be highly profitable, not highly powerful and highly beneficial to you and those that you care about and love. Hope this is helpful. Make today great.